Hello and welcome to the Grand Files Cube. In this video, we are going to dive into the Dungeons and Dragons system and examine the premise for customizing the game into an entirely new system. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos or dive deeper into this new role-playing system. Let's roll initiative and let's get started. Dungeons and Dragons is a game that captures the hearts of millions. It's a realm of limitless possibilities where heroes, monsters, and magic collide. Today I'm excited to kickstart a video series where I reveal how I craft a brand new Dungeons and Dragons clone rather than settle for playing with a collection of house rules. Let's start with the purpose behind this endeavor. Why create a new system? For me, it's about building a more comprehensive, streamlined Dungeons and Dragons experience while staying true to the essence of the game. My goal is to make the best edition of Dungeons and Dragons, and to accomplish this, I synthesize the best elements of various Dungeons and Dragons editions, removing redundancies and reducing much complexity. But I also add ideas all of my own and incorporate elements from entirely different games that I think add value to Dungeons and Dragons. I have chosen first edition Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 as my baseline. That is because I like the high level of player freedom to customize their characters that Pathfinder provides and the way it balances encounters and rewards. However, I want the game to be simpler than Pathfinder and endeavor to do away with redundant rules and mechanics that are difficult to learn and slow down gameplay. Combat is a cornerstone of Dungeons and & Dragons and I believe it should be simpler, faster and more exciting. So my new system incorporates combat rules that keep the action flowing and the tension high. Of course, the genre of the game remains medieval fantasy with all the wonders, monsters and magic that come with it. I wanted to maintain the classic D&D feel, a world where adventurers can truly be heroes. One of the unique aspects of Dungeons and Dragons is that sense of wonder we each had that very first time we held those polyhedral dice. Therefore, at the heart of my new system lies the D20 role. I appreciate the wide range of results the D20 system allows, while avoiding the unnecessary details of a D100 system. The core mechanics of rolling a d20 and meeting a skill or saving through DC or a target armor class is simple. And instinctively knowing that a roll of 20 on the die is good and a roll of 1 is bad is likewise valuable. Based on the inherent value of the d20 roll, I also wanted to retain the armor class system and the saving throw system. These elements, while debated, are integral to the Dungeons & Dragons experience and add nostalgia value to the game. While I enjoy the level of abstraction in Dungeons & Dragons, there are certain elements that don't quite make sense. For example, some weapon properties or the fact that characters remain unaffected by injury until they reach zero hit points. That is something I want to address in this new system. I've addressed these issues in my new system to enhance the sense of realism and immersion while preserving the core D&D experience. As for the universality of the rules, I've designed my game to be medieval fantasy, yet general enough to be adaptable to most other fantasy RPGs. It's all about ensuring flexibility and accessibility for players and GMs. I have chosen to provide a selection of DTs for my game, since I want that to inform the choices of players who want to play clerics and other characters, such as monks or paladins, that are connected to divine entities or religious institutions. And while clerics can easily be adapted to different worlds and DTs, rogues, wizards, and warriors remain generic and can usually be more molded to fit any other fantasy setting. The main message of this video is simple. I'm here to provide an example of how you can create a new RPG system tailored to your needs as a GM and player. By borrowing the best elements from other games and adding your own ideas, you can craft a unique gaming experience. And I invite you to stay tuned to my future videos while I'll unfold the rules I've crafted in more detail. In conclusion, I think customization is at the heart and soul of tabletop roleplaying. It's the magic that brings your unique stories to life. I hope this video has inspired you to embark on your own creative journey and explore the endless possibilities of what your Dungeons & Dragons game can be. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your fellow players. And let's continue the conversation in the comments below. What customizations have you introduced? What sort of rules have you tried to alleviate? Or what rules would you never do away with? Thank you for watching and keep slaying!